Alright you guys, so I'm going to really quickly show you how I use Pick Monkey Collage to make my YouTube thumbnails. So you would just pick out your pictures and I have them all in there already. And it's just going to load up in, so make sure you just choose your pictures. Then here is a collage. If you click over here, you have many other options. And I am a royal member, so I can use like anything on here. But for today, we're just going to use this one because I use it all the time. Now you can expand this in and out, up and down, whatever you would like. Anything that's dotted, you can change the size of the box. So I'm just going to put this down just like that and go back to the pictures and insert my pictures. So you just drag and drop them in there. It's really, really simple. So now that they're all dropped in there, I'm just going to kind of move these around. So I'm going to just drag this picture over and drop it over here. And I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. And then this picture I'm going to move up. And this one I'm going to zoom in on. So you would just click on edit and go to basic and zoom in for the size. And then just drag the picture upwards or whatever you would like. So I'm just going to keep it like this and kind of move it over. And then I'm also going to add an effect to these. This you can only do if you're a royal member, but I think it looks really cool. So I'm just going to add the first effect to both of these. And then leave this one as is. So everything here is going to stay the same. Now around here there's a border and there's also that gap. So if you do want that you can keep that and you can change the color by going in here and just changing the color. So I think I'm going to go with a yellow, but that is like really crazy bright. So I think I might just do a purple or a fuchsia type color. So I'm just going to do that. And if you don't want spacing at all, just move the spacing over to zero. And you can just have it like that, but I'm going to have a small space in here to give it some more color. And then I'm going to go to edit and open in editor. And this is really where you have all the fun because you get to do like whatever you want. So, I think I'm going to start with my titling. I'm just going to add the text. How to. Or actually, pick monkey. And I double space it because of how this font is. just leave it like that. So I'm going to move this over for now to just get it kind of out of my way and I'm going to choose an overlay and for this I think I'm going to use some hearts. And I'm going to enlarge this a lot. I'm going to make this humongous. And I'm going to change the colors. So I think I'm going to do the outer edge black. And then the inner edge pink maybe, a darker pink. I'm not sure yet. Might do it like this and rotate it. And you just really got to play around with this. And I'm going to send this backwards. So you right click and send that backwards. And then I'm going to change the text to 
the white color. And I'm also going to rotate that. So it's kind of going with the heart. So that is that. And then you can add more overlays kind of wherever you want. There's like a ton to choose from. And if I could find the butterfly, that's what I would really like to use. Here we go. There are some butterflies. Then. Just add these in here. And I'll make those a bluish color. Just kind of like that. And you just can mess with it. If you go to textures, you can add weird textures over here. It's just really, really crazy. There's a ton of things to choose from on here. Otherwise, I am just going to go back to effects. And I like to use the lens flare. I think it's a really cool one. I'm just going to move it over. That is way too bright. Holy moly. Okay, so we're going to bring this back down. So the lens flare is just like popping through here. And I'm just going to apply that. And I really, I think that's all that I want to do to this one. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to apply that. But that's basically it. So I'm just going to leave it like that and press save. And then how I save it so I make sure nothing gets cut off in my YouTube uploading is I change it. I click on change. I change it from pixels to percent and I type in 15. And that's going to completely change the size to look like this and it's not going to cut anything off. So I'm going to save it to my computer and label it how to pick monkey and save and that's basically it so you'll see it when it uploads onto my youtube as my thumbnail so that's just basically how you kind of use collage you just really got to play around with it to figure it all out let me guys let me know what you guys think of this tutorial if you want to see more things like this on my channel or not i would appreciate your feedback and i'll see you guys all in my next video